Well, hi, everyone, and welcome back. You know, one thing that happened this week in the news, and especially specifically in Washington, is Elon Musk, you know, the tech titan and the Twitter guy, <laughs> now X, he's just thrown kind of a curveball, basically shaking up both political and all the financial worlds because Musk officially endorsed Donald Trump for the upcoming presidential election. <laughs> Now, I know it sounds a little fictitious, but it's real. And it's uh, making waves big time. Now, if you're thinking, wait, didn't Musk usually keep politics at arm's length? Well, you'd be right. Being Musk, however, announced it in the way only Elon would do, and that is in a tweet. And it instantly went viral. Now, in his tweet, he praised Trump's leadership and his innovative economic policies, and it's literally creating a firestorm. And the market reactions were almost immediately. Market analysts and financial gurus, they scrambled to kind of reassess their outlooks. You see, Tesla's stock is really no stranger to some wild up and down rides, but it shot up 7.5% in after hours trading, which by the way, that turns out to be $75 billion isn't nothing to sneeze over. I mean, it's like discovering gold in your backyard, right? And while SpaceX, which isn't publicly traded right now, private investors started kind of, you know, licking their chops, so to speak, speculating on future government contracts and favorable policies that could eventually line their pockets. But this endorsement isn't just about the stock prices and the market caps. It's really about the future of US innovation and economic policy. Now, Trump's never been shy about his love for deregulation and tax cuts, and he just might find Musk as a kindred spirit. The alignment of these two could really turbocharge tech investments as well. So here's something that might get really interesting. The financial sector, which watches political endorsements kind of like a hawk, it's buzzing with speculation. You see, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, the Dow Jones, they all saw increased volatility. The NASDAQ composite, it popped 2.3% because, you know, in that particular market, when Musk speaks, the market listens. And investors who like big tech, they're hoping that Trump and Musk, this combo, is going to create kind of a financial haven for them. But the reality, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Financial institutions are also kind of on edge because they got to read kind of the future, the tea leaves, if you will, on what this is going to mean for the fiscal policy. The potential for deregulation and tax cuts might be great for banks and investment firms, but it also introduces kind of a wild card. For example, JP Morgan Chase, they saw a modest bump of 1.2% in their stock prices, whereas Goldman Sachs dipped about a percent as investors kind of tried to gauge the long-term impact. But Musk companies aren't the only ones riding this wave right now. Industries that have thrived under his leadership, like electric vehicles and space exploration, they're kind of now in the spotlight. And renewable energy stocks, for instance, um, they might get a little boost as well. So Solar Edge Technologies and First Solar both jumped 4.1% and 3.7% respectively. So investors are clearly betting that the pedal to the metal for this green tech initiative is going to be very strong. Well, this political endorsement is kind of a seismic event, if you will. With Musk now in Trump's corner, the Republican Party is eyeing an opportunity to pull in younger, tech-savvy voters based on this typical skepticism of Trump. This could be kind of a jolt in the campaign, if you will, and add some demographics that aren't typically there. And one thing that we know for sure is Trump's not going to get canceled and kicked off X when it comes to some of his comments. Now, stocks in the tech sector, especially those tied to renewable energy and space, saw immediate gains. But the flip side is that sectors potentially facing more competition or regulatory scrutiny are now more volatile than ever. 
Well, in the end, financial experts are urging caution. But what does this all mean going forward? Well, in the coming weeks, you can bet that the political analysts, investors, and just about everyone else out there is going to create some sort of dissection of every move of this game. Now, this endorsement isn't just a headline. It's a turning point that could reshape the 2024 presidential race and have a lasting effect on the financial landscape. This is just one of those stories that is literally just getting started. And you better believe we're going to try to keep a close eye on what unfolds. Well, as with all financial news, there's good, the bad, somewhere in between, which is where most of these financial clips land, somewhere in between. So stay focused on the important things when it comes to your money. Speculation is always a difficult game to play. Keep your assets safe and compounding, and then when opportunities arise that you're comfortable with, you can take advantage of them. And keep watch on those taxes. This is a wealth killer. Make sure you have a tax plan in place, and if you're not working with someone actively saving you taxes, well, we need to talk. You see, one of the easiest and one of the best rates of return that you can get is simply reducing or eliminating your taxes and putting that money in your pocket and to work for you. Just ask me how, I'll show you a few tips. Well, that's it for this video. Until next time, take care.